you was my brother, Charlie, you should have looked out for me a little bit. You should have taken care of me just a little bit so I wouldn't have to take them dies for the short end money. Well, I had some bets down for you. You saw some money. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Instead of a bum. Which is what I am. Let's face it. Oh, I'm so glad you could come, Meg. Sit down, please. God, you've got an ugly dress on. Where did you get that dress? If I knew the answer to that, then I'd be the wisest man on earth, wouldn't I? It's really repulsive. Why did you not work the last nine years? Doing other things, focusing on other things. Such as? Uh, W.C. Fields. This guy said I'm going to shoot him and I'm going to blow up his family. He put, they called the police department up. Now, what's the point of that? But... Uh, I've spent hours and hours watching ants go up and down my sink, picking up the crumbs and finding out where they come from. They come in in the cold weather. And uh, You said that in the last nine years you've been searching for what you really want to do. Yeah. Have you decided? Uh, be an animal trainer. Come on. No, let's hear this. Let's drink a toast to our life in the country. Yeah. You're a natural lover? You do too much. Oh, for her. Has it ever occurred to you that, uh, that you really do have the respect and power and you could bring it? Why did you reach out and get that fly that was bothering me? Couch potato. That bitch. You made some great movies in the very beginning. I didn't make any great movies. There's no such thing as a great movie. You know what's great? Getting fried eggs in your armpit. Uh, that's a fascinating subject. I, Orson Welles and, and John Houseman, they had the same kind of dog, the same color car, the same... <laughs>